localization. Maybe that is one one dimension, one major dimension. I'm using my local products. I'm I'm promoting my local products, local culture. Very good point. For example, Indian Bharatanatyam, Indian sarees, textiles. I'm promoting this textile tourism. Extend tourism all over the world by partners like Indian sarees, so local to global. Similarly, global to global solutions for local problems. Yes or no? For example, Israel technology for very good drip irrigation, agriculture prosperity. You can say how agriculture can prosper in dry areas. We should learn technology from Israel. Many chief ministers, many even prime minister went to Israel, has went to this Israel. Farms studying this technology, drip irrigation, desalination, wastewater treatment. So, global solutions for local problems. That is one dimension. Similarly, local culture, local ideas into global market. For example, I say, Haldi. You know Haldi? Antibiotic? Yes or no? Narendra Modi always, PM Modi always talks about Indian ethos of treating mother treating nature as mother is a basis for our environmental conservation it's a basis for our even if triple c you know indcs the nationally determined contributions india will contribute to this global warming contribute to environmental protection environmental conservation because it is in our ethos treat nature as a mother now i'm promoting this idea to global platforms ayurveda yoga international yoga day that means we are promoting our systems as a soft power this is soft power which will give good benefit for india it's not like we are promoting it for free somehow or other we will get the advantage so bollywood for example in fact we were having these bhutanese friends three bhutanese rbcs friends were with our bharatdarshan group they were singing our Bollywood songs better than many of us, many of our 18 people. This kind of Bhutanese are built, uh, Bhutanese are connected to India through this Bollywood also. For example, butter chicken is national dish for recently London or uh, Britain, England has announced butter chicken as their national dish because many people like butter chicken in USA. Many Indians went there and established this. Dosa is well known for Italy. Dosa is well known throughout the world. Why? Because again, our culture is promoted in such a way that it is becoming a global culture. The idea is soft power, or maybe in a long term way, you can say India wants to establish as a superpower. If you want to establish myself as a superpower, people should follow my culture. This is called as hegemony. You know, hegemony? People will not accept you if you take a gun. People will accept till the gun is there. But if you release the gun, people will say, Why should I follow you? People will follow you if their culture, if your culture appeases them. If they follow your culture, they definitely say, for example, pop music, or you can say all this Netflix and all. People are watching this and obviously telling, thinking that the US is or that Hollywood is way superior than yes, Bollywood. In USA's technology is way superior to us. That means they're culturally controlling us. Maybe India can also think in this direction, can spend enough amount on its soft power, can promote cricket, can promote Bollywood, for example, Central Asian countries, they watch lots of Bollywood movies. One of the paramilitary and Indian Prime Minister and Central Asian leaders meet is Bollywood. India and Australia, what is the point? Bonding. Cricket, Broadband and Sachin Gavaskar or Sachin Broadband Gavaskar Trophy is also there. So like this, soft power is one of the major thing. So globalization you can talk about. Globalization versus localism. You know this? Localism. What is ism? Anything which has with media. Oh no, sorry, politics. Right? Ideology. Communism, Marxism, capitalism, liberalism, Gandhism. Pavan Kalyanism is also coming. Some people have Pavanism. Yes, sir. Arjivism is also coming. Ism. I think he has written some book also. Ramuism. Ism. Again, an ideology promoted for political benefit or political mileage. Ism is ideology. So, globalism is an ideology. 
globalism. So globalism is is more of concept, more of let's say uh, an ideology which talks about movement of people, which talks about interdependence among the societies, which talks about interdependence among the nations. So localism is conceptual. Localism is idealism, or can say idealistic, or can say ideal concept. But globalization is phenomenal. Yes or no? For example, imperialism versus colonialism, you know the difference? Imperialism is colonialism is actually going there and establishing a colony. Imperialism is establishing my ideology. ideology. So similarly, localism is an ideology. Globalization is reality, practicality, or a phenomena. That's what I told you when I'm talking about definition of globalization is a phenomena. But localism is ideology, which talks about this globalization. So this is one question which can be given. There are many. Uh, is globalization leading to individualistic societies? Is globalization leading to individualistic societies? Example, career orientation, very good. Technology, Facebook, Instagram. Awareness about my rights, responsibilities. What is my rights? I know. So individualistic societies means societies which talk about individualism. Which give priority to individualism. Which societies give priority to individualism? Western or Indian? Western or Asian? Western. Western, Western societies give more prominent to individual rights. But Asiatic societies, or the third world societies like India or China, Southeast Asian nations, they give priority to collective world. Or can say community rights. Yes, sir. That's why you can say Chabarimala was entirely a different judgment in India. Because Till that point of time, I was talking about two slides. Somebody one of the devotee slides, temple rights. But all of a sudden, I am talking about individual human rights. She has a right to go to temple. Yes, sir. That's what is called as individualism. Today, we are talking about individualistic individualism, maybe as a part of liberalism. So understand this liberalism is a political concept. I'm talking about my rights. I'm in a free society that is called as liberalism. Globalization also borrow something or give something to liberalism. So globalization is actually leading to societies where individual rights are giving priority. Yes or no? Career orientation, you would only say technology itself is talking about my account. It's not our account, right? Facebook is my account. I should manage myself. It's my password. It's my life. So that's why you should, this is a very, very important question which can be asked as an essay. Globalization is actually leading to individualistic societies. You think about this. Today I can give two points. Maybe if I think through, maybe tomorrow I can teach three points. So it all depends on our thought process. So you think through this and make some good concepts, a good answer for this. Is globalization leading to individualistic societies? When you are preparing, you encounter multiple points. You get these points to one place. That will become your answer. Mm -hmm. This is very important. Is globalization leading to fundamentalism in the world? No, what is fundamentalism? Yes, yes, you know. This is strong ideology towards our religion. Yes or no? Or anything. If I take it to extreme levels, it becomes fundamentalism. I say my religion is antagonistic to your religion because my religion is so pure. My religion is so divine that my religion should be the only religion which should be existing in the world. That kind of mentality is called as fundamentalism. Fundamentalism is extreme inclination towards the religious or other identities. It's actually leading to lots of conflicts. Globalization is actually leading to fundamentalism. Because in the name of globalization, people say that some countries are promoting their culture. Westernization is happening. Why should I follow Africans' culture? That's what ISIS talks about. Why should I promote, why should I use this western culture? My, I have my own culture. It is actually leading to clash of conflicts. Some scientists say globalization is actually leading to some clash of civilizations. But that is again debatable. Don't adduce to this idea, but there is an idea called as clash of civilizations. 
this globalization is actually leading to cultural domination of one culture over the other cultures. So obviously these cultures feel alienated. Yes or no? They feel alienated. They feel lost. That's why they are trying to promote, they are trying to come out from that bond and trying to showcase their culture. Islamic fundamentalism or maybe culture Buddhist fundamentalism 